Welcome back to Bay Area Focus. About six years ago, an extraordinary theater company was born, and it all happened by chance to save a historic park from closing. And here to tell us the amazing story and what to expect this year is artistic coordinator Maggie Kanzler and Amy Miller, founder of Transcendence Theater Company. Thanks, ladies, for coming on the show. Hiya. Thank you so much for having me. All right, so let's go back to five years ago, six years ago. What was going on? Well, we were looking for a place to start a theater company in a community. And we actually did a research trip across the U.S. and decided on wine country. And randomly, the parks were slated to close. So we pitched the idea and did a concert, and it became a hit. And now we're six seasons in for our Broadway Under the Stars concerts. That's wonderful. Um, what can you experience in a Broadway Under the Stars? What can you experience when people go? Because it's a whole other, it's not just like going to a normal right. theater. Yeah. No, it's the best. You show up, you can, you know, bring in a picnic or there are gourmet food trucks. Um, there's tons of wineries in our community that support us, which are fantastic. And so everyone can have their wine uh, for, what, like two hours before the show begins. And then they walk into the ruins of this old winery, Jack London State Park. Uh, it's 150 years old. Yes. So yes. they walk in. And then there's a sunset as the show is happening. It's a magical experience. And I say that as a performer from Broadway that, you know, when you go into a theater, usually it's just fourth wall. You don't get to see the people that you're performing for. However, with this, like you're interacting and, and you... Uh, the performers are actually like pouring and volunteering before the show. Wow. So we get to interact and sometimes people don't know that we're on stage and all of a sudden it's like, oh, I was just hanging out with that person. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> and it's all like Broadway performers and LA talent. So it's, it's a really cool thing and you can't beat that beautiful yeah, venue. That yeah, sounds great. And just looking at the picture, it looks absolutely vi uh, beautiful and we actually have some video of it. Oh, good. Yeah, let's take a look. <laughs> Welcome to our field of dreams. Are you ready to have the best night ever? Could be, who knows? There's something to anything. I will know right away, soon as it shows. It may come cannonball and down through the sky. I mean, absolutely beautiful. I don't know what to look at. The performers, listen, <laughs> right. the background. What, this is awesome. It's completely gorgeous. It's uh, in Jack London State Historic Park, and he was a great dreamer and adventurer. And a Bay Area and, yes, native. And a native. Uh, yeah. And uh, he's a great dreamer, and there's a great energy to the space. And you get to see the sunset and the stars come out and have a glass of wine, and it's literally the best yeah. night ever. And we've raised over twenty-five, two hundred sixty-seven thousand dollars yeah. for Jack London State Park. And that's from ticket sales, yes. right? Yes. So from a portion of the ticket sales yes. goes right to the park. Yeah. Yes, correct. Which is amazing. And do you think that draws a lot of people there, too? I mean, not only the performances, but also to help save state parks. Yes, I mean, the park was slated to close in 2011. Now it's thriving. They have, um, the venue was actually named number two outdoor concert venue not to be missed in the U.S. Mm -hmm. So it's a great space, and it's a real community gathering experience and wonderful energy. Right, community engagement support is so much a part of this, right? Yes. Absolutely. We yes. have a great community in Sonoma. My goodness. And I think we've had over 81,000 people that have seen the shows. We've had over 312 kid campers um, that we do. Because our first show, um, which opens uh, June 16th, which is going into our sixth season, and uh, that show is... It's, well, you can talk about that because you've been creating it. It's another opening, another show. It's about new beginnings, rising up, and anyone who wants to come to the theater can see Broadway songs and some uh -huh. popular music and be inspired to go out and, and keep going after their dreams and live life to the fullest. And I just think art and beauty and nature and being around a community can inspire us all to keep going out into the world to make a positive impact right. and make a difference. Yeah. The best life yeah. ever. Yeah. That's what she always says it's before every concert. Which the is, best life ever. Yeah. The best life ever. <laughs> yeah. The best performance ever. <laughs> Exactly. It's, all great. it's great all the way around. <laughs> yeah. You know, a lot of the actors, you said uh, L.A., Broadway <laughs> talent, a lot of them relocate to the Bay Area, right? Well, that's been and happening. Yeah. They couldn't get rid of me, actually. Yeah. <laughs> well, just when I was involved with this company, they were doing art as service, which was very different than what I had seen in New York or on tours. And, you know, it just, you weren't reaching out and... and you know, touching people's lives necessarily, and that's what they do, and I've seen it over and over. So I did my first concert in 2014, 
And then I came back 2015, and then they couldn't get rid of me. And then I got engaged, and then I got two dogs. So I'm just you're not here. leaving. She's I'm here. here. No, you're here. You're all set. This is, this is it. Um, the summer series, it features four shows? Yes. yes. Okay. So are they different? Yeah, oh, they're yeah. all different concerts, and there's a wide variety of different artists that come in. So each show is unique. And uh, the first show of the season has a lot of great choral, big Broadway production numbers in it. The second one's our Fantastical Family Night. So that's where everybody can bring their kids. Nice. Our kids' campers perform. There's Disney. Disney music. The third one's Fascinating Rhythm, which is the big dance show of the season. And uh, the final one is the community celebration called the Gala Celebration. So it's just a cheers to the end of the season. And what do you do when it's not summertime? Well, oh gosh, we stay busy. <laughs> we stay busy. We've actually been branching out and we do a holiday show in uh, the Luther Burbank Center in Santa Rosa. This past year we did a spring show there as well as in Marin. So we're trying to just uh, get everybody then to come to the park and experience the magic of Broadway Under the Stars. It looks magical. And <laughs> Thank you have you to so come. Much. Yeah, I know. I'm going to have to. <laughs> Invite me. I'm there. Yes. Done. <laughs> done and done. Best and done. Ever. Starts June 16th, and then it runs like mid-September. So you've got time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's great. Sounds good to me. Thank you so much Thank for you coming so much on the show and telling us about this and sharing all of this wonderful, wonderfulness. Is that a word? I don't think so. Um, yeah, it can be. To get your tickets to see Broadway Under the Stars, just log on to bestnightever.org. After the break, we are taking a look at the cannabis industry. Stay tuned.